This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Wow, lighting. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we are starting the vlog in the kitchen. Hopefully, you can't hear too much outdoor noise because the window do be open, but it is the nicest day today. It's 78 degrees outside, which I don't actually believe. I don't know how warm it's going to be outside. We are dressed for the weather. Fit check, bro. My kitchen is so messy. I don't want to talk about it, but we have this top I got. This shirt is from H&M. Um, it was like ten dollars because it was in the sales section. Jeans are from Carmar denim, and then this is from Alexander Wong. But we are here today, and we are in the kitchen because it is such nice weather. I have so much to get done today, but I am so excited to get back into vlogging. I know you guys are probably confused every time I say that because I post vlogs like every single week. I usually film a couple in like the span of three weeks, and then I take a week off just to like edit and do all that stuff. And honestly, I am so happy to be like doing this again. I was thinking about it last night. I actually posted on my Instagram story like some very dramatic things because I was planning on my videos and I think I just think about YouTube a lot at night because I don't know it's like the end of the night and I'm like getting ready to start the next day but yeah I've just been having so many thoughts in my brain about like everything that I'm trying to do but today we're doing screen printing so another screen printing vlog this one's different because we started using emulsion which is interesting uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'll show you guys what I've been working on. I only have two of them because I actually already started the screen print. And so today I need to match up one set of the stencils to the other. If you guys don't know how emulsion works, it's basically you create a stencil with solid opaque black and then you put it in a light box, basically, like a very powerful light box. You put your stencil and then your screen that has like an emulsion on it, which is like a little gooey thing. And then light shines through the bottom and it will basically like harden the parts that the light touches and the parts that the light don't touch because you have a stencil with black on it, it will stay wet and gooey and then you wash away that part. Um, so I already did half of these steps because also I didn't want to bore you guys. The these are the stencils I've been working on. Also, here's my like, envisioned print. I don't know if it's gonna come out like that. It's coming out like that so far. I think it's pretty simple and using emulsion is so much easier than the stupid screen filler I was doing last time, which wasn't really like my choice. My professor wanted us to learn it, but oh my God. So here's the stencils that I'm working on. I need to make sure they match up right now and then I'll be good to go. But those are the two. I think this one's for green, the green color. And then this one's for the dark brown color that is gonna go on top. But right now this is what the prints look like. I have a couple, I probably have like 20, 30 of these in different colors. The colors right now are very Target vibes. I didn't mean for it, but then once I did the red, I was just like, this is exactly, is this not like the Target pharmacy looks like? Uh, I think so. The prompt for this was climate anxiety, which honestly, I don't really have too much to say about it. So I did like a garbage thing because in high school, I was really concerned with the Pacific garbage patch for like a good couple of months and it really like ate away at me. So this is my rendition of the Pacific garbage patch and these sprinkles are actually microplastics. So that is what we've been working on. Basically, I haven't made the next two stencils yet of the color. So I can do this like see where the stencils match up and if they don't I can adjust it right now before we go and make the screen print so that is what we're going to do my desk is so messy I've gotten back into playing League of Legends which is not a good habit to have at school but I have like my keyboard and my mouse these are the two things that I've been using lately on my Mac I do have a whole setup at home but because it was my last semester I was not about to bring it all here just to ship it all back get to working actually I should probably eat first we're gonna eat first Alrighty, let's see what we have in my key I guess I can- I'll just have yogurt and granola. You guys know I've been having a lot lately. Mostly because I need to eat all the food in my fridge because I'm going home in like a week. So, yogurt. Also, um, the screen printing thing. So I still need that red color that I used and I took it with me. So I probably shouldn't open this because it'll be messy, but I want to show you guys. It's already getting on my hands. Red paint. Can you see? There's red in there. I took it because I didn't want anyone else in the studio using it because we all share studio space, obviously, and I was worried that someone was going to take it. I didn't want that to happen. So yeah, also I've been on that water grind lately. I mean, I would hope that you're always trying to drink water, but I've been trying to drink extra water because I think I was dehydrated last weekend because I went to New York with my friend, but when I travel, I have a really bad habit of not drinking water. So I'm trying to catch up on my internal water supply now. We got my granola. You guys know I love my coffee granola. Granola. 
We are nearing we are nearing the end of this bag. But I'm going home, like I said, so I'm going to bring back more granola. Yeah, since I live alone now, I've been chilling in the kitchen a lot because I really like this space. Uh, it feels good. Granola. Love me my granola. And the sounds of the outdoors. Honestly, ever since daylight savings, I've been in such a better mood about like hearing the outdoors in the city. Just because like, I feel like now is the sounds of spring, you know? It really is just a time change. It made me so much happier. I have my ink and my paintbrush here because I was using it in the studio and I brought this bag to a studio. This is the bag I've been bringing everywhere and I'll go through what's in it uh, later when we go to studio. Right now it's 12 o'clock. I'm aiming to go at like one or two. I feel like theoretically it shouldn't take me that long to fix up these stencils, but we will see about that. I'm very excited. It's it's Friday today. I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing daily vlogs this whole weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Each of them are gonna be their own vlog because I'm so packed this weekend. Um, but I'm really excited because like it's all work that I'm getting done ahead of time, and that doesn't bother me. If it was Sunday right now, because it's due Monday. I'd literally be freaking out. But because it's not, and I like to do things early, so like my anxiety doesn't freak out, you know? I'm just gonna get this done today. Ideally today, maybe it'll have to go into tomorrow, but I feel like I could do it all today. This granola is so good. I swear this granola should sponsor me because of the amount I've eaten it on camera. It's literally so good. I forgot how good it is because I haven't had it in like a week. <laughs> Okay, so like one of the things I hate the most about art in general is that I never have enough space to do the things that I need to do like on my desk. Also, I lost my tripod. I don't know where it is. My suspicion right now is that it might actually be in the printmaking studio because I think that's the last place I used it. But I literally have no idea where it is. It's not in my room, I don't think. Like I'm not seeing it right now. Ah, I don't know where it is but I haven't used it in quite a while. Also, do you guys want to see the cute stuff I got in New York? Oh my God. First of all, okay, preface, I'm not a BTS fan. I'm sorry, I just don't listen to K-pop, but this was too cute to pass up. So it's a little heart guy and a little cup. It's like a boba cup and you can take him out. <gasps> He's so cute. So I got this and I also got another keychain. I might as well just show you guys, right? Cause we're doing a little show and tell right now. Let me get it. I put it on my bag. But there he is, do you see him? So cute, oh my God. I haven't had a chance to carry this bag in so long, even though it totally goes with the fit today, just because the weather's been horrible. He currently resides on my desk. Because honestly, I don't know where else to put him because he's so large, but like, I love, I, I literally love. So we're gonna clean the rest of my desk. Got a lot of little items, art trash, candy wrappers. But yeah, I don't know where my tripod is and it would be really helpful for today's video, but there's no way. I don't think I left it in the studio just cause that feels like basically impossible, which means it must be somewhere in my room. Maybe it'll come up, you know? I haven't done a good cleaning of my room in a while. These are the Animal Crossing stickers that I've had for forever. This is the lip tint I'm wearing today. It's the Misha one. I have a bunch of board. Oh my God, wait. I met up with my professor yesterday who works with me to make all um, a lot of my projects. And she gave me so many pieces of board. You guys have no idea. I actually went out and did so many things yesterday. I went to the gym, bought a bunch of groceries and subsequently snacks but I haven't had a chance to unpack my bag yet actually, but look at how much how much board she gave me. First of all, my whole bag is basically just board, but these, I'm just so happy because these are so expensive at the RISD store. Literally like a pack of four is like $25 at the RISD store, which is literally insane. She saved me a lot of money. I think that's it, yes. This is, this is a good like, whoa, 10, 15 pounds, maybe even 20. This is a lot of board. So now that sits in the corner of my room. Also my current sketchbook. And speaking of sketchbook, unfortunately I haven't been able to do too much sketchbooking, but I still have been sharing my art online. One of the ways I do it is through today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. I've really loved using Squarespace to set up my own website. It's portfolio season for me. So it's really important that I clean up my website right now. And I've been updating it with all of my silk screen stuff, of course, but I've really loved using Squarespace to make my own website. And if you head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang, you can use the code Tiffany Wang for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And this is so amazing 
thing because if you set up your own website with Squarespace, you can link your online shop so that you can get all the revenue to yourself. You can promote yourself on other platforms. So I have a link just for my YouTube, which is so amazing because Squarespace gives you all the flexibility for making your own website. And I can link my other stuff so I can get my Instagram on there to make sure people can find me and all of my other socials like YouTube as well, which I have been so appreciative of. So again, you can head to Squarespace. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And I highly recommend using my code to get your own website or domain and starting your own website. Oh my God, finally cleared off this corner of my desk where the board that I had previously has been sitting. I unpacked these, I just have so many updates. I unpacked these uh, mints that I got like a long time ago, but they're mints, so like they're fine, you know, but I think I got them like two years ago. Finally getting to eating them now. I have one in my bag that I bring to class. I have a couple on my desk. But it's nice to have like a little something, you know, when you're sitting at your desk. So I have a business card, a single business card. Love that. But yes, I'm gonna clean off my desk and then we can finally start working, but with no tripod. So how am I gonna film this? I don't know. Okay, as always when I clean my desk, it's really not perfect, but I think I got it semi-okay. So we will simply ignore the rest of my desk, but here are the two stencils and I'm going to try my best to match them up to this once I get this rolled out. And yes, they all have this little mark. It's very irritating. I hate it. Okay, so I'm lining it up right now. I think it looks pretty good actually if I have it literally right here. Um, as you can see, like that corner needs to be touched up. So that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I'm surprised how mashed up this one is. I did work on it a little bit before and sometimes there's like these oil spots or something on the paper. So the ink doesn't wanna go there. Honestly, I, I know most people at RISD probably can paint, but there's no way everyone in my class can paint. I always wonder like what they're doing. This must be so difficult for them. Um, now we're going to match up this one. I originally had all of these say no, but I'm starting to think like maybe I shouldn't do that because it just seems like horrendous to line up the nose. That one definitely does not line up. It's like I really don't want these bags to touch. I think it's just gonna happen. Match it up like this. See how it's gonna go. Like as you can see, it's gonna be pretty hard to match up the letters. So I'm thinking this one just take out the nose. I think that would make sense. We can leave that one, but maybe we just cut these two out and we'll just have it like an empty space like this, which is fine. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little bit of a, a change. We're just gonna cut out these nose from the stencil uh, chaotically. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to look good at all. Uh, as long as the light isn't stopped by something, it literally doesn't matter how you do it. So we make some changes to our overall design, but that's okay. I think I would like for this spot to be larger, but I think we're close to making all the adjustments that we really need to make. And I think we're actually gonna just cover this up. Cause I was gonna leave some lines, but like, I feel like that's just gonna be so messy and I don't really wanna do that. The issue with like using this stuff though, is that this Denral, which is like the clear thing I'm painting on, is so slippery that it's like really hard to have traction for your brush. Um, but if you're experienced in painting, I think you'll be okay. I mean, honestly, like ideally you just print this out, which I think we're doing soon slash next. So yeah, this is my green layer. Yes, I have to wait for that to dry, obviously. But I think everything is looking pretty good. Woohoo! I'm just gonna get ready to bring this to studio. I'm currently just checking to see if there's any spaces that I want to fill. But overall, I'm very happy so far with how things are going. I feel so like at peace right now, and I swear it's because of the time change, which sounds so dramatic, but like it really is true. I think it made a big difference in how I feel. Just like very happy that the sun is out such a small thing to want you know but <laughs> i know some of you guys live in states where like it's literally gloomy for like so long i do not think i could do that i'm not gonna lie to you that one seems pretty good I think, then i think we're gonna get ready to go i can't actually film inside um the dark room when we do the emulsion so i'm just gonna tell you guys what's gonna happen i've already coated one of my screens with a dark emulsion fluid um and it's been drying so i'm going to go, like I said, put this on top of a light box, put the screen on it, close everything, and then it will emulsify or whatever the words are, I don't know. And then we'll have a stencil good to use. And the reason I can't bring you in there is because it has to be like 
completely free of light. Obviously there's some like weird yellow light in the room, but it's not like actual, I don't know, the chemistry, but like my phone can't even be on. It's pretty strict and like, I don't wanna say dramatic. Sorry, I saw an optimal placement for a sprinkle that I did not take advantage of and I must do it now before I literally forget where it is. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna go in and do. And then you guys will see the aftermath when I have the stencil made and everything and it will be very, very good. We're gonna go in and do it. Yay. Getting ready to go to studio now. Oh my God, I feel the air through the window and it's so nice outside. This is my current bag that I've been taking with me everywhere. So I wanna show you guys what's in it really quick because I feel like it's interesting. So I have my water bottle, of course. This is like my uh, typical wallet that I use, but I actually have another one as well. And this one I use for like when I'm going out shopping, which I'm not doing now, but I just have it with me all the time. I have my hand lotion, Hello Kitty hand lotion. EOS, I haven't used EOS in forever, but this one was really cute. It's like the birthday cake one. Um, got it from Target, so I decided to get it because like the vibes. Another thing I've missed, this one is strawberry. Strawberry marshmallows. I think that's pretty much it. So we're gonna, oh, of course I need my thing of paint. Is it a look? Absolutely not. But do I carry it around anyway? Yes, because it's easy. Also, I just realized I have a gallery deinstallation later today at like five-ish. So we're gonna have to leave to do that. And then we'll probably just go back to studio, I think, because I'm planning to just spend the whole day there. But you guys know my gallery that I just posted about in my last video? Well, it's being taken down. It was only up for a week, so yeah. But if you guys didn't get a chance to see it, Check out my last video. I vlogged the whole thing for you guys so you can see like what my gallery is all about. I had a lot of fun putting it up. So hopefully taking it down won't be too much of a hassle, but it probably will. So yeah, let's get ready to go to studio. Woo! -hoo! So nice outside. Oh my God. Literally, I wish I was going to the gym today because the weather is so nice outside that I would. Also, I got new sunglasses. Do you guys like them? I went to the gym yesterday. It was rainy and I still walked all the way to the gym. I should just go today, but I have too much work to do. So I cannot, I keep looking in that direction because I'm crossing the street and I'm trying not to die. So after that long process of making sure my stencils and everything are right, we're finally gonna go to studio. So like I said, I can't actually film the emulsion process because I can't have my phone in the dark room. But basically, as you can see, I'm washing away the stencil. Everything that didn't cure with the UV light, which is what my stencil covered, is being shown through as I wash away the emulsion. And this is where we left off last time because like I said, I'm going to be doing the final two layers today on my print. So I already did the first two layers a while ago and it's giving very much Target vibes right now. And I'm mixing some of the colors that I want because obviously they don't just come pre-mixed for you So I'm mixing up this green trying to find a nice lime green I've been really obsessed with the color lime green recently I don't really know why but if you've noticed in like all of my YouTube thumbnails They've all been green just like I think it's spring, you know I think it's the vibes but we're doing green for today's color too And I wanted a nice vibrant like neon green because I love it So I'm very excited to be having green today and this is what my stencil looks like after the emulsion process It lines up pretty well so I think I did a pretty good job. And as you can see, I have a bunch of prints to get through. So we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna pour a strip at the top and that's my first pull. Oh my God, so satisfying. And I think I've gotten better at screen printing because I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but it used to hurt my wrists a lot and either I'm getting stronger or I'm just figuring out how to do it better. Here's the long, long process of me doing each one. I prop it up with my shoulder and then I just pull it down. My professor wants us to have the squeegee on the side, but I found I can just leave it on top of the screen and it's like totally fine. So I'm just pulling some prints. We're doing green right now and we got a couple of them to get through and I didn't film too much of me doing the green process but here's how they came out. I have a couple different colors. The light blue is the one that I'm focusing on but I also have some dark blues and just some other colors as well and it looks really good. Like I'm really happy with how these came out because I think the emulsion just makes the layers so clean looking. So now we're gonna burn the second screen. As you can see I'm matching up my stencil to make sure it's right. I cut out that part because it was touching and I hated it so I tried to fix everything the best that I I could but I'm ready to burn my second screen now so we're gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna put on the darkest layer okay I am momentarily leaving studio right now because I just finished my green set and my last um, set that I had to do is the dark brown and I have to wait until the emulsion dries on my new screen to be able to make the stencil so I guess I'll go and get something to eat right now 
locked elevators here. We'll take a little break, a little snack. And then I think we'll be ready to print the next set and then we'll be done. So I don't know if it's gonna happen before or after the installation. I kind of want to do it before. So I think I might just be late to that. But let's go find some snacks. Okay, I'm back. Fun facts all around. First of all, I decided well, obviously I'm back right now. It's currently four o'clock, so it's like a really awkward time to be back. But I have to wait for the emulsion to dry on the one I just did so we can do the final layer, which I did not plan ahead for well enough, which is why it's so awkward because it's four o'clock and my deinstallation starts at five. But I think we're just gonna go at like six so that we can, you know, just finish what we're doing. I realized the past like week or so, I really hate doing things halfway. I like doing like the whole task all the way through, you know, in like the most efficient way, which is why I hate stopping things halfway through. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna show up late to deinstallation, which I think is fine. Also, found my tripod literally at the table I was working at. Like I was like, oh, I should probably look for my tripod. And I looked around the whole room and it wasn't there. And then I, as I was literally screen printing, it was like right there, like right in front of me. And I was like, oh my God, I left my tripod here. But good to have it back. So that's good. But yeah, I wanted to go to that pizza place that we went to last winter. And I remember I vlogged it um, just because it's really nice weather out today. So we might as well just like go for a little walk, you know? Also, I have like no food left in my fridge and I'm not gonna get more food because I'm leaving in a couple of days. Let me think, today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Day, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm leaving in five days, so I've just been eating out for most of it or eating my cafeteria food. So I figured we're gonna walk there, but I need to get like an actual jacket because it's actually kind of chilly. Rhode Island's temperatures are always a scam. I guess we can wear this jacket. Um, it's just a little Letterman jacket. I actually have a real Letterman jacket from my high school because I was captain of the fencing team, but I don't really wear it too often. A little bit compromised, but that's fine. But yeah, we're gonna go to get the pizza, probably sit outside and eat, um, get some work done. Then we'll go back, do the emulsion, finish the last layer of printing, and then deinstall, yes. Get in there. But yeah, I came back just to get a jacket because it is getting chilly and you know, the night is only gonna make it colder. So I'm ready to go. Alrighty, so I got something to eat. I went to Pizza Queen or Queen Pizza something, some combination of those two words, I don't remember, but their pizzas are so good in my opinion. I like their personal ones. And I even sat outside because the weather was so nice, which if you guys know me, I don't like being outdoors. So that means I either A, really miss the sun or B, really miss being outside, but mostly a combination of both. Now we're back in studio. You can see that I am washing off the emulsion of my second screen and I had to wait for it to dry. So it's actually good that I went to get food because I would have just sat in studio doing nothing anyway. So we we are just getting the screens ready and something actually went wrong. I am so upset. I knew that this printing process was a little bit too easy right now because it was going so well. Basically, I left my emulsion to dry and I think it didn't dry all the way or something like that because I'm pouring my strip, right? And I'm about to do my first pull and everything looks like kind of okay, but it also looks kind of weird and I didn't love it. So I wanted to check and see why I was doing that. And I actually didn't notice on the first pull. I was just like, oh, that's weird. I don't really like it, but I'm gonna move on and see. But then the second one on a light blue one, okay? On one I really, really liked. I pulled and then I was like, literally, what the heck? Why does it look like that? So when I go and lift up the screen, you can see that I'm just like really confused as to why it be looking like that. Like, why does it look like that? I don't understand. And so what I actually ended up doing is brief intermission. I went, put some screen filler on the areas that were messed up. And then I came back and tried to pull again. So this is after like two washes and waiting for it to dry and now it's finally right but i'm so happy because it's finally right and i really couldn't stand it being wrong anymore i finally got them to work so this is just now the laborious process of me pulling prints and how it actually goes in studio because i feel like a lot of the times i break things down and show you guys everything in like the most optimal way so you kind of think that everything i do is really fast but this took a couple of hours and i was here for quite a while despite being pretty efficient with what i was doing so this was also thankfully one of the days where it wasn't too crowded so i was able to have the whole drying rack to myself, this whole station to myself, and that was very helpful. But I'm just doing the final layer and I'm so happy to be like finishing all of these because honestly, I can't stand doing this anymore. I'm so exhausted. And I feel like that's how I usually feel by the end of all my screen prints is in the beginning, I'm really excited. But also I have four different color layers on this, which every single color layer basically gives you another chance to mess up and you can mess up any of those layers at any time. And then they are just like forever messed up. And if your stencil is wrong, then that's gonna stay like 
like that too. So there's just so much stuff that happens. But basically I'm going through pulling all these prints and I did less than last time. So I think I have around like 25 maybe. I tried to do less because last time was honestly chaotic. I think I ended up doing like 40 something and I don't know why I did that. I was so focused on them turning out well, but here's what they look like. I think they look really cute and I'm actually very happy about it. The sprinkles are representative of microplastics and this is what all of them look like. So I'm quite happy. There's my whole drawing rack. I got a lot and you can see here I am standing next to them and they're pretty cute. Like I'm pretty happy. So now it's time to rinse out the screens. Basically this process is super easy. You just like wash it, you know, with some little soap stuff that we have. Now, after I finish cleaning up, my last step is to take them all off the drying rack because I like to leave them while I'm cleaning so that while I'm cleaning, they get a chance to dry. And then once I'm done cleaning, they will be dry, you know? I try to be max efficiency in the studio because I don't want to be here. But I separated them all into their different color piles because as you can see, I have some light blue ones, some dark blue ones, some yellow ones and some green ones, which the green ones were kind of weird because like one of my layers is literally green. So it feels kind of strange, but it turned out well, I guess. So I'm not going to complain about it. And we just have so many different ones that it took quite a while to get them all off the rack. But once I did, here are the color piles. They look so good. Oh my God. I'm like so happy with how these came out. And it's probably because we did emulsion and we still used hand-drawn stencils, but next week we're going to be actually doing fully digital printed emulsion stencils. So it's going to be even more precise, but we're slowly but surely getting to the methods that I want to use. So we're going to stack them all up now so I can put them in my little drawer because you guys know all of my assignments once I'm done go in my tiny little drawer. So I got my green ones and then we're doing my yellow ones as well. And then we got my blue ones. My light blue ones, as you can see, is my biggest stack because that is like the intended color. The other ones are more of experiments, but I think usually when I try different colors of paper that it turns out pretty well anyway. So not too many complaints about that. But yeah, there's my huge stack of light blue going on my dark blue and there are all of the prints that we did and I am so happy. I split this up into two days because it was just like a lot, honestly, but I'm very happy with how they came out. They look good in my opinion. And now we put them in my drawer so that I can leave and never see them again. Also, here's the bathroom in Prov Wash. It's really, really pretty. And this one specifically is orange, but they have a bunch of different colors. Oh, okay. So, wow, it is dark outside. Um, I just finished my screen print. It went really well. The last screen had a bit of an issue. I don't know what caused that. My screens are melting, but that's fine because we fixed it. So now we're going to go and take down my senior show, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. Also, I finished an entire audiobook while I was there for one of my classes. So we got a lot of stuff done and I'm ready to rest. Lately, I've been doing like big amount of work all at once and then just taking half the day to rest, which I think has been very, very nice. So let's go take down the show. And then that's pretty much all I had planned for today. Woo, we have arrived at the illustration building. Hello everyone, I have returned. Please stop moving. I did not end up going to the install because it is currently locked. The gallery is locked. As you can tell by my tone of voice, I feel very defeated, but I'm overall very tired. So maybe it isn't the worst thing. I was thinking about maybe if I'm gonna deinstall tomorrow, but I checked the weather and it's raining all day tomorrow. So I'd simply rather just not leave my room at all tomorrow. So I'm gonna try my best to do it tonight, but I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I got a cupcake from downstairs in oven up close has glitter on it which is so cute i guess we got some glitter on our cupcake wow she's sparkly or whatever why is it kind of like beautiful and of course we have our pizza from earlier today so am i eating the healthiest no but do i deserve it yes so I'm gonna sit here and eat. I might play some League tonight. I've been playing League again, like I said. I really missed it. So I'm honestly very like happy about it. But also does anyone else eat cold pizza? I feel like cold pizza is arguably just as good as hot pizza. Maybe that's just me. I'm gonna eat and hang out. <laughs> okay, not even like a few minutes later. I'm working on getting the keys. Someone has responded to me, so I'm very happy. But cupcake time. Oh my God. When I was a kid, Actually, still kind of now. I did not like this much frosting, but when I was a child, I would literally scrape the whole thing off. Now I have like a, a little bit, you know. 
It's tasty! Alrighty, so last thing on the agenda for tonight is deinstalling the senior show. Here's just a brief look at what it looks like, but if you want to see the actual show, I do have a video on it. It was literally the last video before this, so go check that out. But we're going to deinstall it because it is time for the next group of people to come and have their senior shows. So basically, it was only up for like a week. So I'm taking these pins out and I have to use a hammer because it was so difficult. And I'm not being dramatic, like I literally had to use a hammer to get them in here in the first place. So sounds about right. But I'm just taking my whale shark stuff down and this was honestly not as fun. I did not enjoy this also because I was so tired, but this was the last thing on my agenda for tonight. So I guess it's pretty satisfying that I got everything done and that makes me happy. But taking this down was so annoying, honestly. Like I hated every second of it because it was just like a giant cleanup. I don't like doing that, <laughs> but I took everything down. I'm working on taking all the whale sharks down. I take down four pins for every single print I had up and I have like 14 prints up, so it's a lot. And now we're just getting the last one down. So I'm very happy about that I can't imagine other people taking their entire walls down because I only had one wall But I guess I did have a lot of individual prints. So that makes sense I took down my business card and then we're done with this wall, but there's also a back So I'm just getting the tax off of this one and he's free Let go of Daisy's grocery adventure. Oh my god. So here's all my prints. Here's all the pins that I use I actually use more than this, but I already put them in the box earlier now we're gonna just close it up and put it back onto the shelf where it came from but now we get to do the fun part of spackling so if you guys don't know what spackle is it's basically just like stuff you put on a wall to cover up holes and then you sand over it and then you paint it i wanted to do this before i cleaned up my 3d stuff because if you're thinking efficiently i wanted this to dry before i finish because then i can paint over it before i leave and then everything will be done if i spackled earlier and i was just sitting there waiting for to dry that would be a waste of time so here i am spackling up all the holes and you can't really tell but like once you go to the side of the wall you can kind of tell because they're kind of some matte spots i spackled the whole wall and now we're gonna clean up my little stuff so we got my little stickers we're gonna clean that up we're gonna close my books and taking down my 3d stuff was so much easier like imagine if my whole show is just 3d stuff i could literally just like finish everything right there and it would be amazing but i of course had to go above and beyond and put up 2d stuff as well but we're just gonna take our anatomy babies get everything where it's supposed to be clean up our stuff and one thing i noticed that was really convenient was that because i have a bunch of packaging design for my projects that everything basically has a little like carrying container to be put in and take home so i was very happy about that and i was like wow this is like perfect i'm so happy so all this stuff gets like packed so neatly into this little container and you just like close it up i tie a bow around it and like it looks great so that's pretty much all i had to do and that was so satisfying actually like clean Cleaning up the 3D stuff was way easier than cleaning up the 2D stuff. And so I just did all of that. It looks great, good to go, we're ready. And I'm taking down my business cards and stuff and all of these little labels that I had to do for the show because I wanted to label everything. And I finished deinstalling, it was great. So now we're gonna just go back. Okay, I'm back now. I have my very beautiful prints. I might put this one on my wall just cause it's cute. All of my little prints. This went well, so ooh, I'm glad that uh, everything's done and I got it all done today. Cause like I said, it's gonna rain tomorrow. Also, I got a little uh, grapefruit juice. This is so good. I've been obsessed with this lately. Cannot get enough of it. Literally so good. Also, I've just been <laughs> super dehydrated lately. That is pretty much what I did today. Last thing I'm gonna do is just do my journal entry, which I normally do every single night. And so that's how I'm gonna wrap up my night. And it's gonna be really nice and relaxing. And I'm excited because I'm exhausted after today. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog, which won't come out until a few days later for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna do my journal entry and then that's all we're gonna do for tonight. Oh, and I might play some league as well. But yeah, I'm gonna go do that and relax. And so that is the end of today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out. I will see you guys in the next one. So stay hydrated, take a nap. I will see you when I see you and goodbye.